Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy right now in January. So for more videos just like this one, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, comment your favorite stock on this list down below, subscribe if you are new, and don't forget to become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents per month because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. With that being said, let's get straight into today's top stock picks. Starting off with ATI Inc., ticker symbol ATI, and if you did know ATI is a specialty metal provider for companies in the aerospace, defense, and oil and gas industries. This company also serves many other industries, but what we want to focus on in this video is earnings per share increases. And for every next stock that we talk about, their earnings per share growth is going to be even better. If you look here at the top of the screen, you can see their five-year average annual EPS forecast. And every single stock that we talk about from now onwards is going to be above the previous stock. So all of them are going to be above 18.9% on average. Back in 2020 and 2021, this company had negative earnings per share. However, that was followed by a profitable year in 2022 to where they are anticipated to expand their profitability in 2023 to 13.1% higher than it was in 2022, and that is anticipated to expand even further in 2024 to 27.1%, which is exactly what we're supposed to see this year. Overall, ATI has a C rating for their financial health from Morningstar and a share buyback yield of 1.4%, while their forward price-to-earnings ratio, also known as a PE multiple, is 14.3, which is a fair valuation in terms of a stock. So you can see on screen here that their chart is relatively relatively positive, being up around 5.82% over the last month. But remember, each stock that we talk about is going to get better and better, because our next stock is going to be Will Scott Mobile Mini Holdings Corporation, ticker symbol WSC. They trade for $42.73, and they're up over 6.72% over the last month. Now, what's great about this company is that their earnings per share forecast is very impressive, to where their five-year average annual earnings per share forecast is 36.8%. So now we are breaking into five-year averages that are over 30%, which is phenomenal. Analysts currently anticipate that this company will have a 30% earnings per share growth in 2024, and they have a solid B rating for financial health, according to Morningstar. But what does this company do? Well, this company provides workspace and storage solutions, and the company generates revenue through leasing agreements. So again, a very good company. We also see that the company has a PE ratio of 25.8, which is actually the lowest level it's been over the last five years and they have a forward P.E. ratio of 17.5. Let's talk about ticker symbol BMRN. This company focuses on rare disease therapies, and they currently have eight pharmaceuticals on the market with more than a dozen in various stages of research and testing. So it seems that more pharmaceuticals are in the pipeline for this company, and when they release those to the actual market, it's going to be very positive, or it's at least going to positively impact their overall top of the line. Now, they did have a losing year in 2021, where they regained profitability in 2022. However, currently analysts expect a 37.3% earnings per share growth in 2023 and a 138.8% growth in 2024. And that's what we need to look into. However, there is a problem with this company. The PE ratio is one of the highest on this list, coming in at 166.8, while their forward PE ratio is just 35.4. Again, that is more attractive than their PE ratio when we look at their forward PE, but overall, this company is relatively expensive. However, we should offset that with a A grading. They have an A rated financial health rating from Morningstar, so at least that does something. However, for me personally, I am not going to buy into this company. It's too expensive on an accounting ratio perspective. However, with that being said, they do have a 43% five-year average annual EPS forecast, meaning that this company could end up growing into their overall accounting ratios, so please keep that in mind. Next up, let's talk about RPC Inc., ticker symbol RES, and this company provides oil field services to where they offer services and equipment to companies that engage in oil exploration and oil production. And right now, over the next several years, analysts are anticipating a 16.8% earnings per share growth in 2023 and a 7.6% growth in 2024. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot. However, their P.E. ratio is already very low. Their forward P.E. ratio is just 6.6, .6, which is a lot lower than the other companies on this list, and they also have a B rating for their financial health from Morningstar. So overall, fundamentally, 
this company is pretty solid. However, for me, I am not going to be investing into this company, but as we break into our top picks, those are companies that I personally am investing into. And the first company that I have invested into on this list is Melly. The company name is Mercado Libre, ticker name Melly, ticker symbol M-E-L-I, and they are essentially the Amazon of Latin America. They are a fintech company as well as an e-commerce company, and they currently operate in 18 different countries by providing shipping, advertising, and financial services. Their earnings per share jumped in 2022 up to $9.57 per share, which is a huge increase from what they brought in in 2021, where their EPS was only $1.67. And now analysts anticipate a 111.9% earnings per share growth in 2023 and a 43.3% growth in 2024. That's why their five-year average annual EPS forecast is 64.3%. The company also has a B-graded rating from Morningstar regarding their financial health and over Overall, I personally own this company because I think they are going to be a fantastic investment over the next few years. They have the second highest P.E. ratio on this list, coming in at 84.1, but their forward P.E. ratio is 43.5, but overall this company can grow into their valuation. They're currently trading for $1,574, so hopefully your brokerage account offers fractional shares or share slices, so you could invest into this company for as little as $1. Now let's start talking about price targets as well when we talk about these companies. First on the list is T-Mobile US Inc., ticker symbol T-M-U-S, and T-Mobile provides nationwide cell service throughout the United States. The company currently trades at $162 per share, while high-end analysts believe this company could surge up to $235. The company has been increasing their sales over the last decade, and we also see analysts forecasting more than a 255% year-over-year earnings per share increase in 2023, and another 35% increase in 2024, with a five-year average annual earnings per share forecast of 67.3%, and they also have a B grading from Morningstar in regards to their financial excellence. Their price-to-earnings ratio is very digestible, coming in at 27.8, while their forward price-to-earnings ratio is only 14.1, which indicates that this stock is trading at a great value considering its current growth prospects. So again, I personally own this company, and I think it's going to be a long-term winner, and I think investors should clearly look into this company in January of 2024. Next up, we have New Fortress Energy, Inc., ticker symbol NFE. This company is an energy company, and they work and integrate themselves with natural gas companies because they are a natural gas company. This means that they control their entire operation from natural gas procurement, liquefaction, shipping, and everything in between. Now, the only drawback about this company is that they have a C financial rating from Morningstar. Even though their current share price is $37, they could surge up to $60 per share. But again, the best thing about this is their earnings. Analysts expect a 254.8% jump in earnings per share for the full year of 2023 and 67.3% growth in 2024 with a five-year average annual earnings per share forecast of 80.6%. The P.E. ratio is also very low because their forward P.E. ratio is just 5.7, making it an excellent value for a rapidly growing company. Again, this is a phenomenal company to hold in your portfolio. Next up, let's talk about NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA, and NVIDIA makes graphics processing units, also known as GPUs, that are commonly used in gaming and artificial intelligence, as well as other computer applications. Analysts are extremely bullish and positive about this company because they are forecasting a 222.2% earnings per share growth rate in 2023 and a 55.3% growth in 2024. The company also has an A rating for financial health from Morningstar. The current share price is $532, while analysts believe it could surge up to $1,100 over the next 12 months. Now, their current P.E. ratio is very high at 108.4, with a forward P.E. ratio of 26. 6.8. So because their forward P.E. ratio is so low, that's why this company is on this list. Therefore, if you want an aggressive growth stock, then look no further than NVIDIA because they have a five-year average annual earnings per share forecast of 102.5%, which is absolutely amazing. So clearly keep your eyes on this long-term winner. Next, let's talk about Vita Coco Company, ticker symbol 
COCO, -C ticker name Coco. You may have seen this company in various grocery stores because this company sells coconut water, coconut oil, and other coconut related products around the entire world. Now, what you should know is that this company does not yet have three full years of sales since their initial public offering. However, they did grow very rapidly from 2021 to 2022 and from 2022 to 2023. And we know this because their earnings per share is expected to jump by four. 128.6% in 2023, followed by another 9.5% growth in the following year of 2024, and they also have a B rating for their financial health. Their current price to earnings ratio is 54.5, although this is set to lower because their forward price to earnings ratio is 33.7. But I am not going to be investing into this company. However, I will be investing more into Planet Fitness, ticker symbol PLNT, which operates various fitness facilities throughout the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Planet Fitness also has various facilities in other countries, but we are not going to go into too much detail with that because this company has multiple pros and cons. Let's start off with the bad news. The company has a C rating in regards to their financial health from Morningstar, and that's not good. However, the positive about this company is that their five-year average annual earnings per share forecast is 197.7%, which is crazy. This is why the company is trading at a very impressive forward PE ratio of just 19.3. So you're going to get phenomenal growth at a great value for this company once we discount their current share price based off of their future earnings. The company currently trades for $73, and their high-end price target is $100 over the next 12 months. Overall, these companies have very strong earnings forecasts, and earnings is one of the best ways to determine the value of a company, especially when we look at their future projections. However, you should always make sure to do your own research on any or all of these companies to make sure that they are a good fit for your personal portfolio. If you want to look on screen here, we have a list of all of the companies, their ticker symbols, and their five-year average earnings per share forecast, which are very impressive. Again, all of these stocks are rather good, but I only own a handful of them, which would be Planet Fitness, NVIDIA, T-Mobile, and Mercado Libre, but the others are good as well. They just don't do it for my personal strategy. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video on the best stocks to buy in January of 2024. Go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Go ahead and become a member of this channel for as little as 99 cents per month because that's what keeps me here on YouTube. And with that being said, I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you in the next YT video.